Hi there, welcome to edupediaworld.com. You're watching the videos on surface area of cuboid and cuboid. So, in this video, we'll discuss some of the more important questions related to how we can find the surface area of cube and cuboid, how we can use the concepts of surface area of cube and cuboid to solve various different type of questions. And again, these questions are very important from the exam point of view. So, you have to watch this part of the video again very carefully. Right. So let's get started with the first question. Question number one. Now, the question says that a cubical box has an edge 10 cm and another cuboidal box has in dimensions 12.5 cm long, 10 cm wide and 8 cm high. So this first part we need to find is which box has a greater later surface area and by how much. And second part is which box has a smaller total surface area and by how much. So let's see how we can solve it. So first let's say here we write cube and here we write cuboidal so that we can manage easily. Right now cube has an edge 10 centimeter and cuboidal has dimensions let's say length is 12.5 centimeter, breadth is 10 centimeter and height is 8 centimeter right now so for again for the first part we need to find the lateral surface area for the both and we need to compare then so let's do the first part then right so lateral surface is means the area of four walls let's say if we have a cube like this say we have a cube like this then lateral surface area means four walls one two the back one and the front one four walls so mean we can say that lateral surface area of Q will be 4a square. Why? Because we only need 4 parts and the total surface area of a cube is 6a square. So but however we need to find out the lateral surface area which is the area of 4 walls. So we need to take away 2a square from the total surface area. So we can say that lateral surface area of cube is 4a square. Now the side, the edge is 10 cm, so we can say that which will be equals to 4 into 10 square, so which will be 4 into 100, it will be 400 cm square. So this is a lateral surface area of a cube. Now, here we need to find the lateral surface area of cuboid, so we can say that lateral surface area of cuboid will be how much now we need to take only the four parts means we don't need top one and the base one so the top one and base one is 2lb right so this means we need to take away 2lb from the total surface area of a cuboid formula so it will come out to be 2 times bh plus lh so it will be equals to 2 times h into l plus b right so this is a formula for lateral surface area of cuboid right so we have a dimensions over here so which will be equals to we can put the values now so 2 times h is 8 times l is 12.5 and b is 10 so which will be equals to 2 times 8 times 22.5 so let's see what the answer comes now so this will be 2 times 8 times 22.5 so the answer will be 360 centimeter square right now if we compare the both we can say that lateral surface area of cube is greater than lateral surface area of cuboid right so this is the how we can do the question now let's see how we can do the second part now second part says that which box has a smaller total surface area and by how much now so we need to find by how much also so this means we need to take away 360 from 400 so it will be 40 centimeter square so we can say that lateral surface area of a cube is greater than lateral surface area cuboid by 40 centimeter square right now we need to find the total surface area so total surface area or we can say that surface area of 
q is 6a square so which will be 6 into 10 square so which will be 6 into 100 so which will be 600 centimeter square right so here the surface area of cuboid will be 2 times lb plus bh plus lh so let's put in the values now no so what's the next step we need to put in the values so it will be 2 times l it will be 12.5 times 10 plus 10 times 8 plus 12.5 times 8 right so when you compute this it will come out to be 610 centimeter square right now you can see properly that surface area area of cuboid is greater than area of cube by 10 centimeter square so this is how we can do different type of question using the concepts of surface area of cube and cuboid so let's discuss the next question question number two now so question says that a small indoor greenhouse herbanium is made entirely of glass plane including base so which is very important point the base is included held together with a tape so it is 30 centimeter long 25 centimeter wide and 25 centimeter high so what is the area of the glass so it's very easy question let's do it quickly then so first we need to draw a box let's say we have a box like this right so here the length is 30 centimeter breadth is 25 centimeter and height is 25 centimeter right so we need to find the area now base is included so we can apply the formula directly right so we can say that surface area of greenhouse will be 2 times lb plus bh plus lh so it will be 2 times lb so l is 30 into 25 plus 25 into 25 plus 30 into 25 right so it will be 2 times 30 into 25 is 750 plus 25 into 25 is 625 plus 30 into 25 is 750 so we need to add 750 750 and 625 right so 5 12 so it will be 14 and 2125 so it will be 2 times 2125 so which will come out to be 4250 centimeter square so this is the surface area of a greenhouse now the next next part which is very important part and very interesting how much tape is needed for all the 12 edges now these are the edges you can see let me use another pen now so these are all the edges you can see so we need to find how much tape is required to cover all the edges so let's say this is length this is breadth and this is height so let's say if this is length this is also length then this is also length and this is also length this means we have four lengths four breadths and four heights that makes 12 edges right so let's say all 12 edges can be written as four lengths plus four breadths and four heights right so which will be you, take, you can take four common out it will be l plus p plus h so we can say that tape required will be four times l plus b plus h so it will be four now l so l is let's say it's given 30 so we put in the value 30 plus breadth is 25 and height is 25 so we need to add this all so it will be 30 25 25 so it will be 10 so it will be 5 7 8 right so it will be you can say 4 times 80 so it will be 320 centimeters so this much is tape is required 
to cover all the 12 edges. So thank you once again for watching this video at edupediagold.com. Keep watching for the videos. Have a nice day.